Hello, it is Chris with the Blockade Pinball Podcast, bringing you once again another one of the uh, Williams Pinball App Daily Challenges uh, strategies, if you will. Uh, right now, we are going to be playing Medieval Madness in one ball, which is uh, in the basically the advanced challenge, hard level that requires 19.2 million on one ball, and the thing about Medieval Madness. It's easy to control the ball, but there's not a lot of points if you're not shooting the castle. So it's all about kind of uh, nursing yourself along, but at least you don't have a time crunch. Um, so anyway, let's dive in and uh, see what we do on this. Similar to Attack from Mars, I'm going to hold the left flipper and launch. And, uh, see right there. Lit the lane. If I can shoot... Oh, I hit the, uh... I hit the droppers instead. If I can shoot the, uh, Merlin's target, um, and then hit the gate, it's worth three million instead of just the one million. So that was what I was hoping for, but didn't achieve. So now, I'm just going to kind of try and get multi-ball, because that is the secret. Sorry about the, uh, cutoff on the flippers down there, but... Figured you'd want a bigger image there than uh, smaller so you can see. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and hit the. Oh look at that! That happened much quicker than normally. I don't like to take that chance shooting up the middle. Um, I'm gonna hurl uh, bombs at the castle. Is what I'm gonna attempt. Just like that. Get one more ball lock, and then I'll be in a multi-ball, and then I won't care about losing any balls. I am Francois Dugrim, and I spit towards you. Boom, there we go. Now, the question is, do I try and actually hit the gate, or do I just send it up the orbit, or do I actually try and do something? Ooh, big green there. I'm just going kind to of try to do the, uh, the keep it alive with uh, If I get a clean shot, I'll try and take it, but look at that. Two rejections. Nope, oh, now we're down to two balls. So, time to be a little strategic, maybe. Again, similar to AFM, you're always safe shooting it up into the pops. Uh, otherwise, that happens. So, look at that. I got 14 more million points to go, and I don't have a multi ball in sight. I can get some of those going. So there's the other strategies. If you can get your lanes lit and uh, get your madness uh, ready, if you can get two, maybe three uh, lit for madness, that way you can get three balls going again for a multi ball. That's always good. That right ramp, it is not kind. Alright, there's one. Let's see if we can go for the catapult next. Oh! I wasn't thinking. Alright, let's try that right ramp. Oh, missed. Combo? Oh, yes, combo. Let's combo again. Combo again. One more combo. Oh. Choice of choices. Alright, now if I hit. The Merlin scoop, I'm not worried because at least I got two going. Ooh. Yes, yes. That felt good. This shouldn't be too difficult now. As long as I don't have the curve. Oh, uh, catapult. Nope. Oh, I should have readjusted the video so you guys could see the flippers. Eh, my bad. Next down. All right, but look at that. I got three going. It's going to come down to my right flipper, so I might as well go for the catapult. So close. One more time. 
Nope. Yeah, okay. Could be that way. Boom. Alright, now we'll just go ahead and uh, get the Calpha Cam. Okay. And uh, shoot Merlin? Nope. That wasn't Merlin. That wasn't Merlin. Again, I'm never directly going for the Castle Gate because it can be a center drain. I'm gonna go. Oh, come on. I'm gonna try and go for uh, anything but that. And if I hit it by accident, I hit it by accident. But at least then I'm usually shooting on an off angle, and so it won't go straight down the middle. All right, there we go. Big multi ball. Damsel. Gonna be keeping the balls alive. That's all we're gonna do right now. I'm not good at juggling more than two. Once I, if I got three or four going, I'm just, I'm gonna flail. But now that I'm down to two, I gotta be actually strategic. Oh, I did not. Ooh. Oh, we got five million left to go. Now we got one million left to go. See, that was the nice thing. I would hit the castle without even trying during the multi ball. Put that shell in my back pocket. At this point, I could probably just drain, and I would have enough uh, bonus points to win. But I've had it happen where I've missed by like 50,000 points, so I just go as long as I can. Now it's even more risky. <laughs> it's one thing shooting the castle gate when the drawbridge is up. Oh. Okay, look at there we go. Let's let's hear our bonus count. Thirteen times. Boom. Easy peasy. And let's see if we get coin wise. Just the one. Hey, one coin's not bad. This is this the advantage of actually uh, having all your tables maxed out. You just get coins every single time. Sometimes you'll get uh, two in the top, and then if you open up the video, you'll get another uh, two or one down there. So you can get anywhere from well, one to four coins basically per play. It's the, the four coins are pretty rare. Um, but that is how I do Medieval Madness on one ball. Again, keep it away from shooting the center. It's all about shooting the loops, shooting the uh, the ramps, trying to get your multi-balls going. Um, if you can get good at shooting the ball lock, just nail the ball lock and get your first multi-ball going. Um, by accident, you'll hit the trolls, which isn't a bad thing necessarily. Um, and then once you got multi-ball going, then go ahead and attack the, uh, the castle gate. But I don't do it in one ball. No, 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 no. Not a good, not a good strategy on medieval madness. All right, that is it for this time. Thank you for watching, and we'll be back with more of these videos. Bye bye.